Katie from Hip in Detroit. We are here at the end of the night of the Flint Family Barbecue. We already talked to Blair Lees and we talked to George Morris and we finally get to talk to Jax, the star of the night, uh, Flint Eastwood. You guys just closed out the show. I'm in awe of you. Like, I was standing upstairs and I caught the video. First of all, tonight you guys invited uh, an orchestra on stage. And I actually know Laura that's in that little group or whatever. I know we're this small. We go to the same gym. Um, so that was cool, and the new song was awesome. Um, was that the first time playing it live? Uh, moments we played live before, uh, just for tonight, the slower one was the first time playing it live. Okay. It was the first time we did a slow song live, because we're pretty, we're pretty super hard. Yeah, exactly. We're like 11 all the time. So I was standing upstairs, and I was looking at you, and I was filming you, and all I was thinking was that, like, I went to the Woman in Rock display this week over at the Henry Ford, mm -hmm. and there's all these icons, like, people that changed the world of music and just defined females in music. And I gotta be honest, you are that person. Like someday I feel like I'm gonna see Joan Jett's pants and your hat like sitting in something <laughs> together. Like you guys, I, musically are amazing. Like the music is great, it's so tight. Like do you guys practice a lot? We practice once a week uh, and then when we have major stuff coming up, we'll do I feel like you guys are practicing a we've, lot because you are on with each yeah. other. Yeah, and we've played, I mean every, all of them, like Mark plays in a bunch of cover bands, our drummer, Brian plays in a, a couple other bands as well. So all of that mixed together, like outside of the Eastwood, they're really good musicians. I'll be honest with you, I'm the weakest link of musician one. You feel that way? I do, I do all the writing though. So I'm you not, do I don't, all the I've, spent, I've spent my time learning how to write instead of learning how to play. Which and I when you write, what do you do first? Do you write the music first, the lyrics first, switch it up sometimes? It, it usually depends on how I'm feeling. Um, okay. if, if sometimes a melody will just pop in my head, if like somebody says something to me, it'll play, and I'm like, oh, it would be cool to put in a song. Um, most of the time I write to music. So it's either an instrumental that somebody else did, okay. or it's something that I've created, and then they come in and make it great. And then you just come in. Do you come in with an idea, or you just see what comes out of your head? I usually, these days I come in with an idea. These days, I'm, uh, with the new record, I'm, I'm going to be a lot more intentional with, with writing lyrics. Okay. Um, uh, and, and this record is really cool, too, because it'll be a different dynamic. A lot of people said that our EP doesn't look very much like our live show. It doesn't. It, and the thing yeah. is, is a year ago when I saw you, okay, I dug it. I was like, yeah. this is cool. You guys are good musicians. It's good music. It was fun. Mm -hmm. It's fun, which I think is something that people are kind of losing. I love that you were up there and you're like, you're here to forget your problems. Yeah. Like, you inspired me tonight, for real. Oh, like, you. you're here to forget your problems. You're here to have a good time. And that is what people come out for music for. You're asking somebody to pay money to come watch you. I think it's And important. they should have a good time when they come watch you. I think, I think it's very important. And I think it's going to be hard for you to capture that on an album. I wish you the best of luck. I know. Well, the thing Only is. Only because that you had everybody in that room sitting on the ground. You had everybody in that room with their guns in the air. Right, right. Like, that well, is a lot of power. The thing is, there's, there's a difference. To me, there's a difference between being on an album and a, and a live show. To me, a live show is intended to make people forget their worries. And I feel like an out in live show, you're not really paying attention to the lyrics. You're, you're that's true. paying attention to the feeling, you're paying attention to, to the lights and everything that's happening around you. With an album, you're sitting there with it, usually driving your car, not paying attention to anything else. You're just driving music, car. you know? And so with this, next, with this next record, I'm really excited because Brian and Mark will be helping writing, which they didn't do on the first one. They okay. were around then when, they, when it was written. Um, but now they're going to be a part of it, so it's going to be more of a funny split sound. And I'm very intentional with lyrics. In this next album. Uh, I, had, I had a lot of stuff happen. My mom passed away in January. That was a huge influence. It, it's totally fine. Um, I, it's one of those things where it's an experience that I feel like I needed to, to have empathy with people. And I feel like there's a lot. The last record was very much about me getting rid of my negativity and being very. A lot of the lyrics are negative. I don't like that. Um, the next release, I just want to inspire people. I want people to feel like. Because a lot of people are not living in the moment. Moments is the best. The best. The Nobody's moment. living in the moment. Nobody's it's almost moment. impossible. It's almost impossible, and I, I, I don't believe you can ever fully live in the moment, but you can at least try. Because you can whenever try. you do live in the moment, you realize that life is so gorgeous. It's so beautiful, even when you have a terrible situation. I'm seriously in love with you. There's, there's good I things. feel exactly the same way. No, like, I'm life is, is yeah. amazing, and it really is. It's when you're truly having joy and just experiencing mm -hmm. something and being there and not thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow or what happened yesterday, right. like. Somebody reminded me recently that it happened yesterday. It's done. You yeah. can't change it. Why are you even thinking about it? It's very it? true. And granted, there are certain things that you need to that you need to keep close to you so you can learn from them and so you don't slip back into your habits. But I, I strongly believe that you go through hard times and you go through difficult situations to learn and to empathize with people. And these last two years, for me, I'll be honest, are they've been shit. I've, I've gone through things that are just like the worst possible two years that you can have. And 
I, coming out of it, I thought that I, I thought that it would be really hard and be depressed, but instead I've had amazing people around me to be like, hey, you need to live in the moment. I know it sucks, but take this energy and take all this bad stuff that happened and help people with it. God, I'm so, so excited for this. That's, that's basically this what is going to be amazing. Doing. That's basically what I want to do with this next year. Is to, to try, try to inspire people and to say things that I feel like some people need to hear. Not everyone. It won't be for everyone. You did it tonight. You did it tonight. So, also, I just want to talk about the barbecue because this is going to be an annual event. Hopefully, yes. that's the plan. Uh, judging by today, it will be an annual. Yeah, you guys had games. You guys had food. Yeah. There was a lot of people here. Yeah. Really good lineup. Congratulations on that. We enjoyed all the bands. Um, you had a new video. We did. So I wanted to ask you about that. Who did it? Where'd you get the clips from? I you know? actually filmed and edited. Oh, God, this is killing. <laughs> I work, I work as a freelance videographer. Okay, I didn't know that. As a day job. So it was like it was like probably Saturday night, and I was like, man, this would be awesome if I could like film this person dancing in front of me. And I remember this kid that I met once at a New Year's Eve party. His name's Tim Schumach. Tim Schumach, shout him, out. Yeah, he's great. He's a, he's an actor and he does great things. Um, but he's uh, he just had this look and like this dance style that was so awesome and intriguing to me that I was like, man, I'd love to do something like that. And so on Saturday, I was like, man, I should hit that kid up. So then I, I messaged him on Facebook, and like a bunch of shit happened, and like nothing was really working out. And so on Memorial Day, we were like, okay, let's, let's make this happen. So we just filmed for like six hours straight all wow. Memorial Day, and then I edited it that night, and then on Tuesday, we practiced it. And it worked really well. Yeah. It, was, it was a lot of fun. Very cool. I think and you put together this whole show with Fusion, right? Yes, yes. You pick the bands. Yeah, me, me Brian, and Mark all pick the bands. Um, and we all had, Flinny Swift definitely had our hands in every single thing that was happening. And it was it was a lot of work, but I feel like it paid off so much. It was so good. It I'm was really proud. thank you very much. Yeah. I, I was excited just because I feel like I feel like people came early and they people were we here early. To, we had to do what we intended to do, which was we wanted to get to know people, we wanted to hang out with people, we wanted to have that face to face conversation because saying hello to merch booth for five seconds after a show does not build relationships. No. It's not making friendships and it's not building a community. And that's what we want. We want people to, to enjoy our band and not just stop there. We want to go, for them to go deeper and to meet more people that are like-minded. Because that's us. I mean, come on, you go to like a Lady Gaga show, you meet like thousands of people who are the most like, yeah. And they're so awesome. Exactly. And they'll dance with you and exactly. it doesn't matter. Exactly. But also that was the point of Hip in Detroit. Build a community back yeah. up with people. I'm going to your show, you're going to my show. Yeah. Whatever it is. Like we need to support each other. 100%. And, be creative and inspire each other. We live in a place where you can go to a show any night of the week. Oh, yeah. And people forget that. It's not like that everywhere else in the world. No, it's not. And I think that, I don't know, I just feel like you're a pioneer. I love what you're doing. And I can't wait to see. Do you guys have upcoming shows? Anything that we can plug? Uh, we have MoCraft coming up. Okay, yeah. In July. And that's at Freedom Hill, right? Yes. Okay, I'll put the details up. Cool. We have MoCraft coming up, and then, yeah, that's we're just taking the right to right. That's so. right. And any idea when this album is going to come out? We don't. We don't want to put. Don't want to put any restrictions on it because I've been Hopefully there. Hopefully, the next year. DT guys, been there, done that. I don't want to put any restrictions on it. Oh, but. very cool. Um, we put, we're going to put up a video if that's okay with yeah. you that we took tonight. Please I watch it. So. It's very inspiring. Um, I don't know. I just think this is going to be a band that you guys are going to be hearing more and more and more about. So just come out to a show, experience it yourself. Flynn Eastwood rules. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Ah,